This video is going to be long, but it's very detailed. If you want to make sure your wig is laid, watch this video. I got you. Hey y'all, this is All of Destiny, and in this video, I will be sharing with you all exactly how I got my hair like this. Not thanks to myself, okay, a little bit. <laughs> I wanted to do something fun. I searched this idea on YouTube. Couldn't really find anything exactly like this, so I kind of just decided to do it myself. Shout out to my Instagram followers. If you don't follow me, definitely make sure you're following me after this. You can pause, go follow me, and then come back and finish watching. So I posted different questions to my Instagram, and basically my Instagram followers controlled my wig installation process as well as my wig styling process or a better title my Instagram followers controlled my wig installation and styling process this video is sponsored by hair vivi i will have all of the details about this wig on the screen as this video goes on but i don't want to rumble too much i have plenty of voiceover space within this video i do have a coupon code for you all with hair vivi if you do want to use it it is an affiliate code so you don't have to use it if you don't want to if you want to save some money go ahead and use the code just want to put that disclaimer out there my little ftc disclaimer off the coupon code is just my name destiny and that will get you 15 percent not 15 for say $15 off wigs on Hair VV's website. So again, special thank you to Hair VV for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. I'm gonna let you all control the way I install my wig today. If you follow me on Instagram, then you all may have participated in those polls. So special thank you and shout out to all of you guys. It's been well over 24 hours from when I posted them, but I do still have it in my archives. And as I speak about each different thing, it pops up on the screen. That way you all will know the real results. So the first thing that I asked you all, can I I use a stocking cap for this install. 84% of you all did vote yes girl and 16% of you all voted no cap. The cap that was provided by Hair Vivi. Y'all wanna see my braids? I do have seven braids in. Just do as many as you would feel makes your hair flat for underneath your wigs. Should I do the stocking slash ball cap method or just wear the cap without gluing it down underneath? 74% of you all voted for me to do the stocking cap method. 26% of you all voted for nah, I just took it underneath. <laughs> and I did post a video from when I've done the stocking cap method and actually filmed it on my channel. But I will also have that video linked down below. And what I meant by tuck it underneath, some people put their stocking caps on and leave it like this and just apply the wig. Now the have the cap on I asked you all which product I should use to lay my edges um there's lots of different ones out there but the only two that I really vouch for I feel like my shirt is not saying enough for companies that might want to steal my video it's sponsored by her VV let me put it in the back like you're not stealing this video today her VV please <laughs> thank you the only two edge controls that I trust on my edges currently I use lovely Brianna's edge control she's a fellow youtuber I have a link down in my description box for this edge control down below the only other edge timer that that I use is any of Eva New York's and I currently have their strawberry nutrition one 69% of you all voted for Eva New York's 24 hour edge timer can I use a brush what did y'all decide for me I did a fun twist and I'm also going in <laughs> with one of these brushes so to make this video fun I can only use one side oh y'all voted for the brush side hopefully that's the side I need like I'm not gonna use the comb side at all I'm gonna use this Africa's best one they did send me this when they sent me a bunch of their new products I'll link that video down below if y'all want to check that out and then these are some other ones that I get from the beauty supply store they normally have them up front in little baskets when I check out this is gonna just be used to slick my own edges back Ugh. No, I need both sides. Like, I always need both sides to just, I'm tipped and now to go whoop. If y'all were on Instagram Live with me doing my makeup, then y'all know I said I wasn't going to put too much makeup on my forehead because I was going to have to remove it anyway. So now we're just going to start doing that. Another question that I asked you all is the products I should use. So that product will also be what I'll use for the stocking cap method as well as laying my wig. I was hoping you all voted for this one. Unfortunately, you all didn't. I wanted to use this one just because got to be is so like all the time used. I wanted to show you all something else, but I will make a video down below from when I've used this one. This one is water resistant because I know I'm trying to work out often. Like once I go to the gym and got to be, it's a wrap. <laughs> you want to take your wig off, go to the gym and sweat. It won't rip your edges out because you're going to sweat it all up. I went to the beauty supply store just so that based on the different options I was going to post, 
I will know that I have everything just in case y'all vote it a different way. Either I just don't glue my wig down or if I do, I use the absolute. So I use the got to be glued styling gel. We're just gonna get this on your popping now. I posted another fun little thing. Y'all know I always use scissors. So the two options I gave you all, what should I use to cut off the excess lace? Scissors was one option and the brow shaper was the other option. You all voted for the brow shaper. I never used the brow shaper. So this will be fun and different. At least I'm not using scissors today. I just hope it works. We'll figure it out. So I grabbed this from the beauty supply store I'll put the price on the screen if I still have my receipt. Give me! Luckily, I do have a new set of tweezers in here too, so we can do a little extra plucking to our wig. I hope this turned out good. Y'all better be hooking me up. I'm not gonna put too much of the gel. All right, so I'm gonna use Glamazante's method. This has been all over YouTube. Just gonna cut a slit. Oh, snaps, we got a hole. Shucks, that wasn't supposed to happen. But we're gonna keep going pulling it out from my face so i don't cut myself so this is basically gonna hold our sides down for us it's gonna take some got to be because y'all are allowing me to use this i do want to add though that this process got to be takes much longer this is a gel the isha is an actual glue it would have been quicker but y'all didn't vote for that while it's sitting a little bit we're gonna see what drying technique you all want me to use. Some people have been sitting under their hood dryers, which makes a lot of sense. We hold the handheld dryer when really, when you do a hairstyle, you sit under a hooded dryer. So I guess with the handheld one, it's because we film, so it's like, okay, gonna just sit right here and hold the dryer in front of our face. It helps you to ensure that this is like super laid down versus sitting here the whole time like this. I was hoping you all would've voted for that one. 39% of you all did, but 61% voted for the handheld dryers. Got my dryer right here. I'm gonna use the um, cool setting. Sometimes, honestly, I alternate between the hot and the cool one just to see like if the hot one actually dries it. I have a cool setting on my dryer. If I would have sit under there, then I most likely would have used that as well. I just wanna let it be known that this is taking forever. Dominique just walked by and she's like, you been blow drying that thing since I got here. I've been blow drying for about 15 minutes despite how I chopped this footage up. I wish I could sit under my dryer and I wish I could have used the glue. <laughs> I need this install to be laid, okay? Get me right with these steps. Hook me up. Ugh, getting stuck to my hand. I don't know how to do this part that well. If it comes down to me thinking I'm about to cut myself, I don't have a point to prove like that to use what y'all recommended versus cutting my face just to say, oh, we told her not to use scissors and she did. So if it comes to that, then y'all know I'm gonna have to disregard y'all voting for safety purposes. Shout out to Hair Vivi. The elastic band is already included. And the knots are already bleached. Some of y'all were asking me to let y'all vote on whether I wanted the knots to be bleached or not. They're already bleached, sweetie. They got us covered. We don't have to do that. This is gonna help me to see where my cap is, where I wanna remove it from. We need to remove a little bit more of this. To do that, I'm pulling this back just to lift that out of the way. And my hair should not be stuck to it. I'm just gonna cut that off. This method, by the way, that everybody has been following that Glamazante uploaded to her channel, listen. <laughs> tabs are down baby like besides the parts i gotta cut they are not up this technique is it's on point i gotta give it it it's so creative this is where the glue would have came in more handy not shady y'all kind of shady y'all for the way that y'all voted but get me right listen i gotta get it right because <laughs> i gotta send pictures to the company sweetie <laughs> so for the parts that are still sticking up i'm gonna take some more of the spray and just use this to basically roll this over using the comb that hair vv provided me while I'm blow drying it, it's gonna help that to lay flat. Ooh, I feel like I'm spending the majority of this tutorial blow drying my hair. Why did y'all vote for this? Do y'all not want me to look cute? Just going to rub this all over and mess that little spot up. It's way too white. Because this matches my skin tone when I do my makeup, it's going to basically help the cap to look like my skin under here. Really, you don't even have to do this all over depending on how you're gonna part your hair. You can just do this in the parting space and especially along the front portion. My camera in these lights sometimes don't show you all as if I'm doing much, but in person. And if you don't like the powder techniques, I've seen some people use foundation as well. Also the brand doesn't matter, whichever one you use. It can actually be a cheap version as long as it matches if you just don't wanna waste high-end products on your 
cap. I want to show you all what the inside looks like as well. This is the inside of the wig and it does come with an elastic band added. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the straps a little further for more security. The comb in the back is nice and large to help hold the wig down in the back as well and adjust the straps. It's kind of like a bra strap so it has three different straps. It is pre-plucked but we're going to do more plucking to it but I definitely want you all to see what it looks like before we begin. Ooh, that looks good. Wow. This is what our parting space looks like. Look at that. Girl. I wanted to have 10 different things that I let you all vote on. I was only able to come up with nine. But actually you all gave me two different options. Two different options that I liked. So the first thing that I let you all decide on was middle part or side part. But a lot of you all did ask this. So I picked the two different options that I was seeing the most. The middle part got 56%. So we get to keep this middle part. I do want to pluck some more though. Even though Hair VV does send their wigs out pre-plucked. To let you all decide how I would style the hair. I was hoping y'all would let me keep it bone straight. You all did vote for 55% add curls. Uh, even if y'all worded it differently, a lot of you all did pick those two options. Let's do a little more plucking. So I've already done a little bit of plucking to, well, what's you guys' right side. So I'm gonna do a little bit on the left. Just ignore the dying stains. Yeah, just ignore all of that on her, okay? So the way that I pluck, I make a little small part in front of the hairline. How can I explain this? Because really I just go in with my tweezers and just start pluck, 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 and then just comb, comb, comb. <laughs> but in order to give you all a better explanation of it, kind of think of squares on a floor. So you want to step on one square and you skip the square next to it. You step on another one, skip the one next to it. So with plucking, I'm basically placing my tweezers in a position and I pluck half blah 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 pluck the hair from that section I move over skip a space and then I plug in that section which gives me these little jagged not so perfectly defined hairline type of look we got D-Side on the phone say hey D-Side hey y'all uh. <laughs> back to voiceover Come on, that's what helped me to remember when I'm editing. To so kind of comb through the hair once you pluck a little bit. That way you can comb out the hairs that you've actually plucked and see so far what you've done. Gonna go ahead now and take the Got To Be Glue gel and just basically glue the wig down. I'm applying a thin layer going on top of that with the freeze spray. And I'm using the cool setting on my blow dryer to get the gel a little tacky before we apply the lace. Here we go. I'm making like I haven't worn a wig in a while, but I kind of haven't. So, I mean, pulling this forward. I don't want to pull it to where my temples and stuff get tired, though. Hold on. To where it be too tight. Put a few holes in my frontal. I've never done that before. It's all good, though. I'm going to use the comb, basically. I saw this on Erica J's YouTube channel. Well, actually, I saw it on Tiara J Beauty. I saw it on her YouTube channel, and she said that she got it from Erica J. I was like, who is Erica J? So, I had to go and look her up and subscribe, girl, because I was just going from video to video to video videos this is a technique that she did after she puts it on but she used glue with hers not necessarily this glue she uses her favorite glue but I feel like the technique would have worked the same but y'all didn't vote for that I'm gonna hope it works with the got to be basically you lay it like this and then you use the comb to try everything down and then basically you cut off all the excess lace after that All right, where my little brow thing that y'all want me to cut lace with today? Basically, <laughs> when this is glued down, cutting it like this, it's gonna remove all the excess. I'm gonna have to re-slay my ear tab because I'm pulling it up trying to cut this off. Ow, poke myself. I haven't used got to be in a while. Things got really messy. We're gonna have to clean that up. Let's check the poll again. I perform a lotion. The two options I gave you all was my even or a lot of body. Y'all know I like a lot of body, so I feel like that's what y'all are gonna vote for. It's gonna help to help me to re-smooth everything. Yep, I was right. Just in case I need this step, which one can I use? A lot of body foamy moves got 80%. So I definitely ran to the beauty supply store. That's one of the things I did. Grab, look at it. My mom had told me to get her some even New York. See, we all use this stuff. I gotta take that to her. And oh my God, if y'all just watched me do this look on Instagram Live earlier today, completely forgot I bought a new brown lip liner. Not too much, cause it'll lift up the lace. And y'all said that I could wear a middle part. So we're gonna keep the middle part. Go in, because this is my hair. Like, what wig install tutorial? <laughs> Actually kind of dampening it again will help to smooth it out. See that? And I'm about to run out of space again on my car. I just swapped cars again. I'm talking too much. I hope this tutorial get plenty of views. I can't lie because I'm over here laying this wig. Like, laying it. 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 
They gonna watch it if I make it lay, make it slay. What I say, don't play. Like, foam and wrap on my head says, stay out the way. <laughs> this video is gonna be long, but it's very detailed. If you wanna make sure your wig is laid, watch this video. I got you. How far back can we go here, VV? Can we keep parting? Okay, we can. Okay, center part. My nose gonna stop running. This is a realistic video. If I wasn't filming, this is how it goes down. And stop talking so much, Disney. This is gonna be a lot to edit. It kinda got messy. I'll have to clean all of that up, but let's just focus on the tutorial for now. I went ahead and laid this side using the lighter body ring lights. I feel like they put emphasis right on the top of your head. So catch me in person. Wood lace. Also, I asked you all what y'all want my edges to look like. 30% voted for the no baby hair look. That's what I voted for for myself. Honestly, I didn't vote. I can't vote. I mean, I can, but it wouldn't affect anything. And then 70% of you all voted for the extra laid edges. Because y'all know I always say your hairstyle is not complete if your edges are not on fleek. I feel like that's what y'all think I kind of wanted, which voting wasn't about what y'all think I wanted. It's about what you all want. Edges is kind of selective, subjective. Some people would say even just the smallest bit is too much. So with this, it's kind of a hit or miss, but I guess that kind of looks like the no baby hair look. It's just popping. It depends on who you ask. It still might look like the no baby hair look because my wig is just late, but let's just get back to the voiceover and. Okay, so to blend everything together, I'm taking a combination of the foaming wrap lotion along with the same pressed powder, but I'm using a more small brush. And I'm just basically applying that onto the cap. This helps it to look more like my skin tone. So then as I began to brush everything together, it just all just works for the greater good of laying and slaying your edges and making the lace melt and blend into your skin tone, creating a few little small baby hairs as well. At this point, I need my comb. You need a comb, you all of that? I need my comb. You all Cause I'm recording. Make it work, make it lay, don't play. Make it work, make it lay, make it slay. And to seal everything in place, I'm going in with the Even New York Edge Tamer, still using only the brush side, cutting off any extra lace using the razor portion. And I'm just doing a little extra tweezing because even when you think you've plucked enough, you still have not. Definitely be sure to comb, that way you can check and see what it looks like once you've plucked a few sections. So far, so good. Except for like one small piece that kept sticking up, but Listen, so far so good, like I said. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we have so far. I wanted to show you all the hair straight out of the box in case you wanted to wear it this way before I proceed to curl it. So I paused for a little while to go ahead and get pictures. That way I'll have pictures of this hair straight before I curl it. Before I curl it, what I say like this? A lot of you all wanted to be able to decide how I style the hair. 55% of you all did vote for me to curl the hair. Those we're gonna do one side on camera. I've talked enough in this video. I hope you all enjoy it though. I hope you all like it. It's definitely been fun so far. And the curling wand that I'm using, all of the products that I used, if I can link them all, they will be down below. That way if you all want to get this exact look, if Follow all of the steps that I did to get your hair to look exactly like this or better. Then I have all of that in my description box for you all. So I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of my flexi rods and I'm going to use these to set my curls in place by curling my hair with my Numi curling wand and then rolling them straight onto the flexi rod right after that, allowing them to cool while they're still being scrunched up into the flexi rod. Helps them to really last me and I won't have to curl my hair the next day. This is also how I will roll my hair each night. Well, I guess that didn't work. I guess I gotta do the other side myself, huh? I'm also curling this side the opposite way. So basically the curls are going to go back to give me the look that I'm going for. The fact that my rollers match my eyeshadow, I have to be extra and get some kind of Instagram picture out of this. But this one needs to be fixed first. Like, how cute is this going to be? Oh my goodness. Look at that curl. This part isn't relevant. But if you want to take pictures with your flexi rods, then I'm just trying to think of as many ways to get pretty pictures with this look as possible. If you watch my makeup tutorials, y'all know I'm such a natural makeup girl. Like, what color are my eyes? When you touch them and they don't feel hot anymore, that's when you know your curls are set. You will not have to recurl your hair for a couple of days doing it this way. Okay, enough of that. I'm really ready to go ahead and get these rollers out of my hair. I'm ready to conclude filming this video. I know by the time I edit this, I make it seem so seamless and just so nicely put together. But no, I have been including sitting down, getting ready, doing my makeup on Instagram and all of that. I've been filming all day and I only took a break to eat Doritos and cheese, not even a full bag. Like my curls are cool now. At this point, I kind of don't care how long this video is. Sometimes I just like to give you all a nice detailed, follow this video if you would like to get your hair like this type of video, you know? So this is pretty. I like this straight, but I also like it curly too, guys. This is beautiful. Ah! 
<laughs> I show out with this video. I'm sorry. Sorry to toot my own horn, but hold on. This will be cuter with my. If you curl your hair right, you don't need layers, sweetie. Layer who? While I run my hands through my hair to get a little more serum in there. Oh, that rhymes. Oh yeah, we a baddie now. If you're watching this video with somebody, after you tap them, but still yell really loud and say, we a baddie now. We a baddie now. <laughs> Baby boy, please, sweetie, cute, fine. What wine? <laughs> make it lay, make it slay when I say don't play. My Instagram follower says stay out the way, okay? Like, listen, come closer. If you follow me on Instagram and you participated in this poll, whatever I said when I was mad at you all before, boy, girl, oh my goodness, like, look at my hair. Oh, so luscious and oh, so good. Like, new hair, who this? Who? Hold on, because my lace is laid, so who? Hold on, who? Who? My Instagram followers got me looking like, looking like a cut of leak, like. This video should go viral. Share it with your friend before y'all get ready to go out at any time that you feel it's worth share share it with them right now don't wait why wait you sitting on the couch laying down in bed eating doritos dipped in cheese watching my youtube video why are you waiting share the video now <laughs> no i'm kidding share the video share it with a friend who been trying to get her front to write it ain't quite there yet you've been trying to convince her to subscribe to my youtube channel but she just won't listen listen Tell her, I said, subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch this video. Like, we care about our friends and how they hair look, okay? That's why I got this video for y'all, so I can make sure. Listen, you guys are my friends. I need y'all to be beat. I need your hair to be on fleek. Like, comment down below. Let me know what we need to call her. This is my alter ego. Y'all know my personality to be on 10. Really, it'd be on 10 without the wig. It jumped to 150. I know y'all like, she just keep running her fingers through her hair. I curled this, sweetie. They're not going anywhere. Listen, make sure y'all use this technique. I keep saying listen a lot listen put it on the screen listen <laughs> a whole look i'm glad y'all told me to curl my hair i was mad at y'all before y'all get to see the back of night bro let's all the best oh wait that one piece messed up my turnaround i love it so this is pretty much the result of how my hair turned out. I'm definitely feeling it. Shout out to my Instagram followers. Y'all had me a little nervous on some points with some of the different products that you all had me using. Let me know how you all like this video. Maybe the different uh, techniques that I wanted to try that we didn't get to try. This time, I definitely want to do some of those in an upcoming video. Or just trying all new techniques to lay my, like nothing that we've ever done before. I kind of like sitting under the hair dryer because I feel like for a lot of the steps, I could have been eating while drying my cap and drying the lace on my wig. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up that will help me to know which types of videos you like if you all follow the steps just take your time pause the video rewind it all of that you can definitely get your hair to be the way that you want it to be yeah questions and comments be sure to leave all of that down below again special thank you to hair vv for sponsoring this video I'm definitely feeling this hair absolutely loving it but one thing that i do like about hair vv they definitely pay attention to what their customers request from them and want so an email that they did send to me last night and i'll go ahead and read it to you all because i'm pretty sure they don't mind they said that they received feedback from their customers and the customers thought we should pre-pluck more we've decided to accept the customer's opinion so all customers wigs became the thinner hairline like the picture below from yesterday they're going to start making sure that their wigs are a little more pre-plucked i want to give my input on that since i do know that the company you know takes um into consideration what customers think and all of that from my own personal opinion of working with wigs as far as thinning the hairline too much so imagine a wig where it's like a lot of the hair has been taken out it doesn't really give you too much room to customize the wig being able to still have a pre-plug wig where you just have to do a little bit more to it is something that I prefer because if it was like already a lot of hair taken out imagine if you don't like that look I ran out of space on my SD card, so I'm going to do the voiceover for the rest of this. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. I hope you all gained something that you all can use for laying your frontals at home by yourself. What else? Oh, be sure to click on one of the cards to check out more videos on my channel. And click on my cute little face to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And I will talk to you all in my next video. I thank you all so much for watching.